picker here. The other day I had to run the town, pick up a few groceries. And so I just had a little time before one of the local thrift stores was closing. About 10 minutes, maybe 20. So basically I just decided to do a quick little run through some of the shirts in there. And I found a couple pretty nice things and so let me show you what I found. Now, I found this shirt. It's not very big. And so I'll have to check on actual sizes of it. This might actually, I don't know, it's hard to find an actual size. But, made in Bangladesh, it's a, uh, it's a Keenan Dufty. If you look at that tag, it's pretty nice. But also look at this. See the interior, the collar? And then, look at the sleeves. You roll these sleeves up. And these are just high, these are probably, this is probably a high dollar shirt, it's not a very big one. And I couldn't find a size on it, so I'll have to measure it. But, I had never heard of the name, but just with this styling and everything to it, it reminds me of like a Peter Millar or, or one of them, some of them other high, higher dollar shirts, and so... For the price of three dollars, for three dollars I grabbed it. And so, if I find something that just looks really cool, I'm generally going to grab it. It's kind of like this shirt here. It's in a American rag, size large. Now, I just thought this shirt was really nice looking. It's got, you know, it doesn't, it's just... I don't know, I just really like the the basic scheme of this shirt. And size large, American rag, paid $4 for it. But I figured on this shirt, I'll do the comps on it. And if it's worth it, I'll sell it. But if not, this shirt can go in my collection. So I always think that way a little bit. I'm often willing to take a little risk on it, on something if it's my size and I like it. And so, talking about that, here's something that's a little risky, but here is this tie-dyed Grand Marais Boundary Waters, Minnesota sweatshirt, hoodie. I mean, if you went, if you go to the Boundary Waters and you go to the, the tourist stores to buy this kind of thing, at minimum, this is a $60 sweatshirt there. And... As I try to find the tags, how much I paid for it, right? Size large. Three dollars. I, I paid three dollars for this. Now, this is tie-dyed. Somebody's going to want this. I mean, Grand Marais, you go up to the Boundary Waters, you go up there canoeing and all that, up by Ely or Grand Marais and all that areas. Those guys spend money. And so this, I think, is a real easy flip. And tie-dye, man, that jumps right out at you. Then I found this, I was looking for it to see if there was any vintage t-shirts, I didn't find any. But, I did find long sleeve Orvis with the pocket. Orvis is a big name in outdoors. And so, I think this will sell well. If not, I can keep it, it's a large, I can keep it for myself. But it's a long sleeve, pocketed t-shirt. For the price of $3, not going to lose on it. Orvis is a good name. Keep an eye out for Orvis. Their flannel shirts and the like are really nice. And they'll sell. Now here's another flannel. This is nice. It's a thick flannel. It's a good looking flannel. It's made by Land's End. Now, Land's End's a name that you hear all the time and a lot of people like to buy and sell it. Now, I've always considered it more of a, a women's brand. But this is a size large. And so, and I paid $5 for it. I paid up, but this is a really nice flannel, and nice flannels will sell well. And so, I picked it up because I want to check out the Land's End name on the resale game. I know a lot of resellers pick up Land's End. And so, I want to be able to do a few comps on it. And if anything, this is a nice flannel, and it can go in my personal collection.
Then I found a sweatshirt, just a nice hoodie. Minnesota Wild. Now go to a Wild game, you're gonna pay quite a bit of money for these. This is a few years old. It's a little older style. But for the price I paid, I paid three dollars. It's on at least sports tag. So I don't know how old this one is, but it's can't remember which year the Wild even became a team, but it's been a long time. But so it's probably not vintage, but it's pretty early wild. And so I'm in Minnesota here. This sweatshirt will, would sell in a heartbeat, or I can keep it for myself. But local sports stuff here sells really easy. And then I found this shirt. This is pretty spazzy. It's the snazzy, I guess, would be more closer to the word. It's a button up from Hayband. Now, I've heard that name. Watching other resellers talk about which kind of shirts and like a button up, this is a really nice. I look for something that really jumps out at me. And this shirt jumped out at me, the color scheme, and then seeing that the hay band tag in it, it just jumped out at me. And for four dollars, it's a really nice shirt. And I think it's gonna sell not without a problem. Then well looking for t-shirts, right? I find this guy right now this is a it's like water is life it's kind of a Native American movement um, processing pipelines stuff like that I don't generally get into political t-shirts in my resale game but this was a really nice one and and I'm pretty sure this will sell real easy online And I was able to grab an NDSU vest, fleece vest. I mean, size small, it's kind of a small one. Timberline, Colorado. But for $3, somebody's going to want this. And NDSU is not very far away from where I live. So there's always a market for NDSU or North Dakota or Minnesota sports stuff. There's always a market. And this shirt here, it's Polaris. It's a it's a zip up button up. It's really quite quite something actually. Hard to even get it. It zips up, it buttons up, or zip up, zip up there. It's a polo with lots of pizzazz. And being Polaris, I'll buy pretty much every anything that's Polaris, Articat, those kind of name brands. For, for the price, I paid $5. That thrift store there is always a little higher than I like, but they do have nice stuff. But I'll always buy anything, well, for the price. There's Polaris, Articat, that kind of thing. And as I said, uh, I only had a few minutes to go in. And so I was able to just make a quick, a quick little trip. But I was able to grab quite a few things. The men should make a pretty decent profit on that quick little few minute trip so even if you only got 10 minutes 15 minutes you can stop and do a quick look just look for what jumps out at you alright guys if you like this video hit the like button if you haven't yet please subscribe and um, be more videos coming so pay attention alright guys Coleman the up north picker out